While the United States and China are getting into pretty political and economic skirmishes because of Taiwan, Tesla doesn't seem to get bothered by that at all. Elon Musk's company has signed another insanely good long-term contract which will not only benefit Tesla but also take the biggest battery suppliers off the market so they won't look for other vehicle makers. Tesla has inked new long-term contracts with two of its current Chinese battery materials suppliers, Zhejiang Wayu Cobalt and CNGR Advanced Material. This move is the latest attempt by Tesla to secure supply as competition heats up. The agreements are for ternary precursor materials, which are chemical concoctions essential for storing energy in lithium-ion batteries. The deals with the electric vehicle giant for supply will last throughout the middle of this decade. So why is this contract important for Tesla? Automobile manufacturers who are serious about producing electric cars are presently trying to obtain as much long-term battery supply as possible since it will influence how many electric vehicles they can create. With sales of internal combustion engines dwindling, their ability to create EVs will eventually constitute their entire manufacturing capacity and their sole source of growth. Ford and General Motors have recently announced efforts to secure crucial minerals and battery supplies to sustain the manufacturing of 600,000 and 1 million electric cars by 2025. However, Tesla exclusively sells electric vehicles, therefore, the business has been ensuring long-term battery supply for decades, but it can now do it more effectively, owing to its size. The manufacturer hopes to end 2022 with a manufacturing pace of around 2 million electric cars per year which is double what its American rivals want to achieve in three years. From there, Tesla intends to expand at a pace of roughly 50% each year, which would need many battery materials. According to the application, YU Cobalt will provide processed cobalt for Tesla batteries from July 2022 through the end of 2025. According to the miner, the rage will be subject to market prices for cobalt, nickel and manganese, as well as refining costs. While CNGR will supply Tesla between 2023 and 2025, both businesses have already started supplying the American EV maker. These new contracts for Tesla come on the heels of many other across the battery supply chain. Tesla secured an agreement in January to source nickel from a new mine in the United States. In February, Tesla announced another deal with Liontown, the developer of a future lithium mine in Australia. Tesla China's domestic EV market momentum is expected to increase as the country's NEV purchase tax exemption is extended starting next year. The news was shared during a high-level governmental meeting. According to the China Central Television Broadcaster, a State Council Executive meeting convened by Premier Li Keqiang revealed that China would continue to exclude new energy cars from purchase taxes. Although the conference did not reveal anything new concerning NEVs in the Chinese market, localities that presently employed vehicle purchase quotas were aggressively pushed to extend their quotas and eliminate limits on customers' capacity to acquire automobiles. China's NEV purchase tax exemption scheme and other government incentives are some of the reasons why the nation has emerged as the world's biggest electric vehicle market. The NEV purchase tax exemption implemented in 2014 enabled the greenest vehicle purchasers to save around $1,500. The incentive was only available for battery electric vehicles such as Teslas, plug-in hybrids and fuel cell vehicles. The policy was supposed to expire at the end of 2017, but was extended until the end of 2020. However, in March 2020, China decided to extend the NEV purchase tax exemption scheme until the end of 2022. And, as seen by the latest government conference, the program has been extended again. Expanding China's NEV purchase tax exemption scheme encourages EV makers such as Tesla. The gigafactory Shanghai produces the vast majority of Tesla automobiles marketed in China. With the NEV purchase tax exemption, the domestically built Model 3 and Model Y might compete and gain a market advantage, especially against similar 
combustion-powered competitors like the BMW M3 and BMW X5. Tesla China is expanding rapidly, with the local team delivering a record number of cars in June. With this development, Gigafactory Shanghai's production might increase to 3,000 vehicles per day when recent enhancements to the Model Y and Model 3 lines are finished. No information on the 2023 legislation has been provided as of yet. The method, however, is likely to stay the same. The exemption will not be given automatically, but the models in question must be included in a catalog issued by the MIIT and the tax authorities. The official justification is that buyers should be able to determine which automobiles are qualified. However, the authorities retain the power to exclude some cars from the tax system with this measure. Manufacturers or importers may request tax exemption for the models mentioned in the catalog, which will be verified again by the MIIT and finally authorized by the appropriate tax authority. The fact that the purchase tax exemption for BEVs PHEVs and FCEVs would be extended again was previously anticipated in the Chinese media, especially given the lower purchase tax for internal combustion cars. To help the economy, the purchase tax will be cut from 10% to 5% for all internal combustion cars with engine capacities less than 2 liters and prices less than 300,000 yuan or 44,300 US dollars acquired between the 1st of June and the end of the year. The purchase tax is merely one component of China's support of e-mobility. Government subsidies as a purchasing premium are the most significant and often discussed mechanism. This premium has been cut repeatedly, which has had tremendous ramifications on demand in certain circumstances, for example, in mid-2019. The subsidy was set to expire at the end of 2020, Still, it was extended until the end of 2022 as part of China's Corona Stimulus Program. Tesla, in its turn, continues to demonstrate that it's the world leader not just in electric vehicles but also in rapid public charging. The company has successfully installed a growing network of superchargers worldwide and it continues to extend the network continually. Eventually, the electric vehicle maker intends to expose the network to all EVs regardless of the brand which will be a significant step forward for the whole EV industry. The company's second quarter 2022 quarterly report letter claims that the supercharger network grew by 34% year on year. Amazingly, Tesla China has just announced opening its 100th supercharger in Beijing alone. From what we understand, Beijing was not the only city to reach the 100th supercharger milestone. The Chinese city of Zhangzhou, Nanjing, also received its 100th supercharger. As Tesla's network expands rapidly, we may see milestone announcements like these for more worldwide cities in the future. In addition, Tesla announced that there were slightly under 3,000 Tesla supercharger stations worldwide. By the second quarter of 2022, that figure had risen to approximately 4,000. Tesla and non-Tesla customers are increasingly served by the supercharger business, which is part of services and other. We are thrilled to offer our worldwide, fast-growing network to additional EV customers to speed the shift to sustainable energy even quicker. While many EV owners usually charge their vehicles at home, the lack of a quick and dependable charging network for road trips will almost surely slow adoption. The Tesla Model S was the first vehicle to utilize the network, followed by the Tesla Model X, Model 3, and Model Y. Interestingly, some Tesla vehicles have free supercharging for life, 100 to 400 kWh per year, a single 100 to 400 kWh credit and a monetary credit. It is the world's largest fast charging network for electric vehicles. However, depending on the market, there are at least three physical renditions of the connector proprietary in North America and some other markets, CCAS2 compatible in Europe and the rest of the world, and compatible with the local GBT standard in China. The peak charging capacity of Tesla superchargers is 250 kW version 3 and 150 kW version 2, with plans to increase to 300 kW and higher levels in the future. 
The company claimed in early June that the number of booths had climbed to 35,000. With time, we'll get to know how rapidly the network expands, especially if Tesla decides to expose the whole network to non-Tesla EVs. The non-Tesla pilot program in the United States is set to start in 2022. Another factor to consider is if the average number of automobiles per station will continue to rise. As of the close of the first quarter, there were over 700 automobiles at each station and around 80 every single stall. Public DC fast charging is crucial in places where EV adoption is soaring. Without a rapidly increasing number of fast and dependable electric vehicle charging stations, EV adoption is slowed. Moreover, corporations may need to be ahead of the curve in markets that have yet to embrace EVs. To prepare for the future, Tesla strives to grow exponentially in significant markets while expanding in less populous locations as well. If you would like to know more about Tesla news and updates, check out these two videos on your screen. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.